नमस्कार हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैथवर्स मैथवर्स मीन्स मैथमेटिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स कंबाइनिंगली मैथवर्स नाउ इज द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑन ब्रेन मे इंटीग्रेशन सीरीज ओके नाउ एज आई सेड इन माई लास्ट वीडियो दैट इन दिस सीरीज आई शुड गिव यू सम वे टाइप ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन एंड दे आर आई नॉट गोइंग टू से दे आर डिफिकल्ट बट दे आर अनकॉमन टाइप I, okay, uh, which you can't can't see uh, generally in your class twelve or PSC level books, but they can be found in some higher level books also. Not only higher level, but uh, they can be found some in in some other books, which I shall tell later in the series. Now, what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm not saying these are difficult problems because a problem which is appearing to be difficult in front of me may not be the same for you. So they're not difficult, but they are. a little bit uncommon but they are very much common in entrance exams especially not in the boards or not in the college examinations but they are very much prominent in exam uh, entrance examinations like engineering entrance and several other msc entrance they can come also so in my facebook page with the same name as mathverse i upload i, I give two problems consecutively in two days and now i'm going to solve them and i'm going to give a general solution for them now for the first problem which i gave uh, first day uh, two days ago i think the problem was actually this one integration of cube root then 1 plus 4th root of x by root over x dx this was the problem This is the first problem of bring me into bring me integration series, okay? And some of my very genius friends and students solved it with these. Uh, first of them was uh, Mighty Miraj, or you can say Rockstar Rahi, both the same. Second one was this guy, Superb Subankar. He is also my class twelve student. I feel proud because I taught him integration. And the third one is Tremendous Tushar. these three people solved it completely i mean they solved it in proper way uh, not in the way which i am going to say today but their method rockstar rahis method was almost similar to tremendous tushar uh, what they did they actually substituted this from here they took uh, first of uh, i think rahil took first uh, x is uh, something equal to x equal to something square then he substituted again with a cube power he gave uh, he did something like three substitutions in this integration and that was really good when you actually don't know the generalized method then it is a very good way congratulations rahi and the second one was of tushar tremendous tushar tushar also did almost same thing he substituted from this point also and third one third one was superb subankar and what subankar did subankar substituted by trial and error method actually he did uh, lots of calculation but finally what he did is the same thing that i'm going to do actually i'm going to do with according to some rules and what he did he did it with the help of trial and error method okay so congratulations congratulations to all of you bolram my other student from bsc he also almost solved it i mean he solved it and his answer was also correct but in one place there was a little bit logical mistake still my beast bolram also did very good and there were some other people who also tried it i'm not going to take their name but uh, it is good that you at least tried and then comes some then came some people who didn't even give it a hand okay so for all of them i'm just going to solve it and before solving it i'm saying if anyone if anyone can find some other method rather than which i am showing rather than just substituting from here they can upload i mean they can say it in my facebook page or in comment section okay and if you want if you have found out the problem or the way of solving it then what you do you first of all take a paper and solve the entire question there and just upload it okay that will be the best for me and also for you so let's start with this integration but before coming to this one let me say the generalized rule for solving this type of integration or i should say for solving a particular type of integration which is of the form 
uh, first of all x to the power m then a plus b x to the power n to the power p dx obviously we have seen this type of integration several times and we have done that with some intuition or some visualization but it has a very beautiful process and that was actually given by Chivasas. Uh, if I'm not wrong, then the spelling is C A G B Y. Okay, I can check it. C A G B Y S H E G S. Chivasas condition. Chivasas gave us three condition. In though, if the if this m, n, and p, this uh, in this uh, if these powers satisfy those conditions then only this entire integration will be integrable or we will be able to integrate it. As you people all know that we can't integrate all the functions and a very fa famous function, which one is this one, sin x by x dx. This can't be solved. Uh, uh, this can't be integrated. Actually, when I take this interval, then it then we can guess a value of it. We can say that it is less than something, which I am going to do in next videos, obviously after a long time, when I have completed entire of this type of functions, which I actually know and which I have collected. And after that, I shall start with improper integrals and then only this one will come. And that too, after uh, completing a lot of section integral, in, in proper integral, this one will come. This times by x0 to infinity limit. Okay, so let's start with this Chivisip's condition. Now, Chivisip condition, it says, this integration can be done in three conditions. First of all, if P is whole number, P is whole number. A very important thing to ponder here. See, if this integration, whatever this part, this part is, if let it be something like uh, mm, uh, something that say it be, I'll keep it as p, but if it is belongs to z, that is the integers, then this integration can be solved. Okay, that's the first one. I'm not giving the examples right here because uh, the problems I shall give and the problems that I, sh I shall solve, you can get ample examples there. Okay, so not giving here. It will do nothing but extending the video. Okay, the second condition, the second condition is far more interesting. It says that if m plus 1 by n, this one belongs to integers or whole numbers, then, then this integration can be solved and with one condition. We have to give one substitution. The substitution is a plus bx to the power n. This is equal to z to the power s. This substitution we have to put. But this s is not a random number. This s is also denominator denominator of this p. Okay? So if p is equal to something like this 5 by 3, then obviously this s will be 3. Whatever my m and n be, my this 3, uh, this s will be 3. We shall take the denominator here, okay, of p. It's a very important thing to see here. Now, you guys can take a screenshot at this point, okay? I hope you have taken. Now, let's come to the last one. I shall write them also. And the last one, this is, I think, the most complicated one. It says that, uh, the third one, it says that, if this happens that n plus 1, oh, pardon me, n plus 1 by n plus p, if this one belongs to integers, then it is integrable and we have to solve it in a different way that is a to the power x, a plus a into x to the power minus n plus b, and this one will be equal to z to the power s. And s is again the uh, denominator of p okay denominator of p that is if p is some t by s then this s will come here when we shall substitute it so these were the three conditions of chiviceps and following these conditions we can check which problem is going can be integrated and which can't 
Now, let me start with the problem number one and problem number two, which I gave, I believe, on 27th and 28th of January. Today is 30th. Okay, so I gave it on 28th and 20th. 27th and 28th January. So 27th is January's problem was this one. Cube root of 1 plus x to the power uh, cube root, fourth root of x root x dx. Okay? Clear? Now think in think in the way the formula is put there. The formula was integration of minus half. It means minus half. Then P is P is 1 by 3 and N is 1 by 4. Right? Let us check which condition is going to be applied here. First of all, first condition was A P should be a whole number. No. So let's come to the second option. Second condition says us that if n plus 1 by n, we have to check this one. So n is minus half plus 1 by 1 by 4. So it is n, it is half by, it will be half by 1 by 4. So finally it is becoming 2, which belongs to set of all integers. Okay? Therefore it's a whole number and now it can be solved, I mean it can be integrated with a substitution of a plus a is 1 here actually 1 1 a and b both are 1 1 plus x to the power 1 by 4 1 plus x to the power 1 by 4 is equal to z to the power now now the substitution was here that a plus b x to the power n that this one was z to the power s where well, s is the denominator of p so here denominator of p is 3 then 3 will come here okay so this was my substitution and now let me substitute it. First of all, why don't I keep x aside? x is equal to z cube minus 1 to the power 4. Okay? dx will be 4. x is, oh sorry, this one is z. z cube minus 1 to the power 3 into this this integrate uh, derivative 3 z square 3 z square so it is 12 z square z cube minus 1 whole cube oh my goodness big big number it is then the work of this portion is done we are left with this and this so root x root x is nothing but z cube minus 1 square okay root x is this one and then uh, 1 plus 1 1 plus this one is z cube so this will become z okay now i'm rubbing this side obviously not this one and i'm keeping the values because i have to put here so for the values my x is z cube minus 1 all to the power 4 and dx is 12 z square z cube minus 1 whole cube. See, this function looks really scary, but when finally you substitute them, it changes into something a very beautiful thing. See what's happening here? When I'm substituting, see what is happening. Now, here yeah, integration. First of all, cube through the 1 plus x, this one. This one will become One plus one plus fourth root of x. This one was equal to z cube. So finally, it will become z. Now, this root of x. This one is z cube minus one whole square. Okay. And then left dx. So it is twelve z square z cube minus one whole cube dz. Clear so far? Then, see, 
12 it is z cube z cube minus 1 whole square z cube minus 1 whole cube so it is finally z cube into z cube minus 1 dz which is in terms of z z to the power 6 minus z to the power 3 dz okay done then obviously Rest of the part is absolutely simple z to the 7 by 7 minus z to the power 4 by 4 plus 1c integral constant uh, constant of integration then z in the place of z we should substitute 1 plus x z equal to 1 plus x to the power 1 by 4 we have to substitute this one and finally we shall get our answer okay so i hope the problem has been solved and let me come to the second one. Second one is far more difficult than this one uh, because, uh, because it takes help of the condition number three. And condition number three, the condition itself is a little bit longer and it's uh, the way of substitution is also longer. So now, let me check the problem. Where is the problem? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. I got it integration and it is dx here root of x s cube and then a root of x s cube and cube root of 1 plus okay this one was my problem cube root of fourth root of x is cubed and then dx so this one was the problem now here comparing with the mother equation or mother integration here m is equal to minus 3 by 2 n is equal to obviously 3 by 4 am i writing it correctly 3 by 4 and p is equal to again minus 1 by 3 okay we have come, we have arrived this far. Now, see, clearly, m plus 1 by m, it is minus 3 by 2, minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 4, so it is minus half by 3 by 4, then it is becoming uh, 3 by, uh, sorry, 3 by 2, it is becoming 3 by 2, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Some mistake. Making some mistake. This one is minus half, and oh, so this is two by three. What I'm doing? Minus two by three. And if it is two by three, then m plus one by m. Plus, see, clearly, p is not a whole number. So first condition is not going to work. And m plus one by n. This is also minus two by three, not whole number. So this one is not going to work. So you have to go for the third condition. The third condition is this one, where m plus one by n is minus 2 by 3 from here and then p is minus one third so finally this will be minus 1 which is a whole number so we can integrate it this is integral and also and also there is one more thing which you should take care about there is a science okay and the substitution is going to be x to the power minus 3 by 4 plus 1 equal to obviously what z to the power s and what is z to the power s? s is this one, q. Okay, our substitution in this case was a x to the power minus n plus b equal to z to the power s. This s was nothing but the denominator of p. Clear? Now, this minus n, uh, this my, uh, sorry, n was 3 by 4, so minus n will be minus 3 by 4. Now let's check it. So this one will be, okay, let's start. So, x to the power minus 3 by 4 plus 1 equal to z cube. We need, first of all, we need to find out d of x. Like the previous problem, in this problem also, I'm going to keep, keep x aside. z cube minus 1. This is minus 4 by 3, obviously. Then, let's do the differentiation. After differentiating, this is dx. Minus 4 by 3, 
z cube minus 1 whole to the power minus 7 by 3 into 3 z square. So finally it is becoming 4 minus 4 z cube minus 1 to the power minus 7 by 3 dz. Sorry for a little bit discontinuity here. Actually, my mobile has a very limited storage space. That's why I missed some point, which I solved here, but I that those are not recorded, so I have to make it again. Now, what I need to find out first, I need to find out this this quantity. One plus x to the power three by four, right? Now see from here, how do you are getting? We are getting one plus x to the power three by four is z cube into x to the power three by four, right? Okay. Now is the x to the power minus 3 by 4 which I have done here it is z cube minus 1 so when it will become x to the power 3 by 4 then it will become 1 by z cube minus 1 so this is becoming z cube by z cube minus 1 okay so I have got for this one also uh, how this quantity will become minus 1 thing. right oh no 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 there is one more quantity there or I have done it for the game. Uh, I think I have done it correctly. Okay, so no problem with it. Now, if I put minus one third here, minus one third again, then it will become z cube minus one by z and here one third. Okay, so so good. Now we have to find out root over x cube. So if we put x cube here, if we put x cube here, it will become z cube minus 1 to the power minus 4. And when I shall put, this is 3 by 2, so x to the power 3 by 2 will become z cube minus 1 minus 2 to the power minus 2. Okay? So my x to the power 3 by 2, minus, or minus of 3 by 2, then it will become z cube minus 1 whole square. Okay, then now the time of substitution has come. So dx is minus 4z square z cube minus 1 minus 7 by 3. 3 dz. Obviously dz. Then x to the x to the power 3 by 2. So x to the power. 3 by 2, this one, I just don't want, just don't okay. X to the power 3 by 2, this one will become. Z cube minus 1, whole square. Okay. And this quantity will become this one. Mm, right. Z cube minus 1 to the power 1 third divided by z dz so this one is z it will become z so minus of 4z and see here this z cube minus 1 to the power 1 third and z uh, sorry z minus z cube minus 1 to the power 1 third and z cube minus 1 to the power 7 by 3 so together they will give us z cube minus 1 to the power minus 2 and here is z cube minus 1 square is z so finally they are cancelling each other and it's becoming minus 4 z square by 2 plus c integral constant that is minus 2 z square plus c which is minus 2 into what is z square oh my god z square is x to the power minus 3 by 4 plus 1 then 1 third sorry, this thing, 2 by 3 plus this is my answer okay so this is how we should proceed in these problems and this is how we should solve them thanks everyone for watching uh, please do like share and subscribe my channel share among friends it will be beneficial for them and for you also and please support me so that I can make it bigger I can help the students which are 
not that much to the list. Okay, I hope everyone will enjoy it. This series is going to be real fun if you really like mathematics. Okay, uh, one thing I actually missed. Someone else was there, Diptesh, dangerous Diptesh, my student. He also has solved this problem. Okay, uh, he has solved this problem very successfully. And I think he also has done the method which is quite similar to Tremendous Pushar and uh, Marvelous Mirage process. Okay, so thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.